here. Feels so weird sitting and doing these intros. Just want to stand. Anyway, good morning guys. Everybody's looking good, happy. It's good to see all of you again today smiling because it's Friday, you know it. And joining us today, guys, we have my little cactus. I would kiss him, but probably not the best idea. See those two babies there? I raised them as kids, you guys. They were like that big. I thought today was a perfect day for a Photoshop tutorial due to the fact that so many of us are stuck in the house due to more restrictions. So we're gonna use this time wisely and we're gonna use this time to perfect our skills. Uh, if you guys are new here, please consider subscribing. We do videography, photography, taking photos of strangers, all of those crazy things. It's a war zone here, guys. I got construction and things coming up and down in front of my window here, but I'm determined to get this video out. Okay, you guys, I need your help. Click with me in three, two, one, heading to Photoshop. Click with me in three, two, one. Okay, that was poor, guys. None of you clicked, did you? Okay, in three, two, one. Um, we're gonna bring this temperature up a little bit. Then we're gonna come down here to the highlights. And if you guys have a look where the tree is in the top, we wanna bring some of that information back. So we're gonna pull those highlights down a little bit to the left. And you can see it's looking a lot better. Um, that's why, guys, you need to shoot in raw. So the next one, we're going to bump that clarity, let's say, about 23, just to make her pop. And you can see it looks a lot better. Bring some sharpness back. Next one, we're going to come down here to color mixer. And this, we can change the color here with the hue completely. So with the trees, I'm going for more of like an autumn vibe for this picture. So we're going to move some of these sliders around with the yellow orange and red and this is how we end up so that's it guys we're not going to do any more here the rest we're going to do over in photoshop so number one we are going to zoom in here welcome to photoshop guys we're going to zoom in and her skin is really clear already but what i want to show you guys you can come over here to the healing brush tool and if there are any spots or anything you want to remove and the detail is not too intense like this, then this is going to be fine. So you can just go over like this to even out the skin tone and that will make it disappear. So number one, we're going to come up here into curves. Down the bottom, select so curves and we're going to bring this up here for the highlights. And then we're gonna bring these shadows down. And right now we have a little bit of contrast. So we're gonna do the same for the red. We're gonna come up and bring it up a little bit. Gonna bring it down again in the shadows, just a tiny bit. And we're gonna do the same for each of these. So we're gonna do this for green and we're gonna do this for blue. Okay, perfect. And we're gonna do the same here again for blue. So I'm gonna bring the blue up just a tiny bit. And then in the shadows as well, we're gonna bring it down just a little bit. Okay, awesome, so that's good. So now what I wanna do, I wanna bring that opacity down. If it looks a bit too intense, you can always do this. So you can see that's where we started. And you can move the scale along. And I'm gonna say probably about 74% is good for me. So I'm going to hit A, that's going to bring me back to my cursor. Zoom out, see what we're working with. I want to change these uh, trees, but I don't want to change her skin right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here, adjustments. We're going to select selective color. I'm going to hit control I, and this is going to invert our mask. And what we're going to do is click B, then we have our brush tool. And we can just paint over everything that we want to change. Okay, perfect. So once you guys have done this, you'll see in this little box over here, this white here, this is where we've painted over. Now we can play around. So we have yellow selected at the moment. We can move the cursor. Boom, I'm loving that. So. I'm going to keep it like that, really intense. We can make it a little bit darker. I'm enjoying that one. I'm enjoying that. We're going to bring this over, let's say about there, and then we can make it darker. So I'm going to rock with that. I really love this color. Um, so we can go through all of these colors. You can change it if you like. You can do red. 
Okay guys, so I'm happy with that. Um, next I want to do another one and I want to do it for her skin just a tiny bit. So I'm going to come back here to adjustments. We're going to do another selective color. This one we're going to leave normal. We're going to go yellow because I noticed the skin is just a tiny bit yellow and you can see it gets more intense. So I'm going to just change it to about three. I'm feeling that. And that's it. So I'm going to hit A, get my cursor out again. I might actually make this green a little bit stronger as well. Even though we did that already, I'm going to show you guys how to do it here. We come down here to Hue Saturation. Instead of Master, we're coming to Green. And then you can see we can change it. So I'm going to bring it a tiny bit more to the right. So it's popping a little bit. Okay, perfect. Now guys, this is a trick that I use. A lot of people ask me, are you using external lighting? No, this is how I do it. So I'm going to come over here again to our, uh, not brush tool, we're going to come to our quick selection tool. And now we can bring the size up again. Okay, and we're just going to, well, select background. It's going to make it easier. Then I'm going to select. So same again with this one. It does not need to be perfect. Um, I mean, of course, the better, but like, most of the edges it's not going to matter too much just as long as you have more or less think of this is where the light is going to be coming from and here we have the magic guys so once we have all of this selected we're going to come down here we're going to click on a new layer we're going to go to brightness and we're going to bring the brightness up just a tiny bit and you can see look at that look at that guys we have light so one thing to be careful of when you're doing this, if you do too much, for example, you, you can see here on the edges, you can see where it's been brightened. But if you take care while you're doing this, you cannot notice and it makes a huge difference. Like even with this, just by five, take a look with before and after. It's just like adding that bit of light. And I always go around just to make sure to have a look and see if it's noticeable or not. And it isn't. So for me, that looks great. I can even bump it up a little bit more, but I'm feeling like that is looking good. Okay guys, and then the last one that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another curve. Well, I just wanna bring everything up just a tiny bit. And maybe again, back down. Just give it that like super dreamy look. As well, we can come over here, we can bring the vibrance up. So we can always take the saturation down a tiny bit and bring the vibrance up. Okay, well that's it guys, we have a super nice edit. Uh, don't get too carried away, it's super easy to get carried away, but that is basically how I am going to edit this picture. That's it you guys, so please give me a comment and let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, if you like that kind of tutorial or if you want something a little bit more specific so I can work on that for you. Feedback is always appreciated so then I know what I'm going to be doing next for you guys. It's been great hanging out with all of you guys again today. It was fun and even my cactus said that he had a good time. But I know you can't hear him. I can. I mean, I can hear him. I will see you guys on the next video, okay? So in one, two, three. Okay, none of you guys did it again. Okay, in one, two, three.